Hello everyone. Today we're gonna to be doing some thinking about a digraph. A digraph means two letters that make one sound together when they are next to each other. We're gonna be thinking about a digraph that makes an interesting shape with our mouth when we make that sound. I want you to repeat these words after me. And when you repeat these words after me, I want you to be thinking about the sound that your mouth is making at the beginning of each of these words. Say the word shape. Ship. Shell. Should. She. Let's say them one more time. Shape. Ship. Shell. Should. She. The sound that comes at the beginning of all of these words is a digraph sound. Two letters that make one sound. The sound is shh. Make the sound shh. Make the sound again. Shh. Notice what your mouth does to make this sound. To make this sound, your mouth, your lips go almost together but not exactly touching. The air comes through your teeth. Shh, try it. Shh. Yeah, it's almost like you're telling someone to be quiet. Shh. Your lips are flat and across, but they're not exactly touching and the air is coming through your teeth. You can feel it if you put your hand in front of your mouth. Put your hand in front of your mouth and feel the air come out. Shh. You feel that air coming through. It's pushing through your teeth and then through your lips. Shh. The letters we use to write this sound in words are S and H. This is a digraph. Two letters that make one sound. Shh. Repeat after me. S-H, ship, shh. Say it again. S H ship sh. Good. You might find this digraph at the beginning of words, or you might find this digraph at the end of words. As you're looking through words, you'll notice that you'll see it in different spots. But when you see these two letters next to each other, they make one sound. Sh. Say it again. S H ship sh. Got it. All right, we're gonna do a word chain with sh ship sh digraph, all right? If you need to go get a paper and pencil, go ahead and go do so now, and then come back and be ready to think. Let's get started with this digraph sh. All right, on your paper, I want you to write the word mat. Use what you know about letters and sounds. Write the word mat. Ask yourself, is there a digraph sh inside this word? If there is, put it in there. If there's not, don't put it in there. What sound do you hear at the beginning, middle, and end of this word? Be ready to think together in three, two, one. Our word was mat. Hmm? A. Mat. Is there a digraph in this word? Shh. I don't see one. That sound didn't show up in this word. Now I want you to write the word mash. Write the word mash. Like, I love mashed potatoes. Mash. What's different about the word? Do I hear a vowel sound in that word? Is there a digraph? What two letters make the sound for the digraph? Mash. Be ready in three, two, one. Mash. Mm, that's the same. Ah, that's the same. Shh. Mash. I don't hear a T anymore. I hear a 
shh. And I know that SH makes the sound shh, mash. Mash. The digraph is at the end of this word. Now I want you to write the word rash. Ask yourself what changes, what stays the same. Rash. Do it on your paper. Is there a digraph? Where is it in the word? Rash. Be ready in three, two, one. Okay, rash. Rrr. I don't need the m sound anymore. I need a rrr. R rep. Rrr. Ah. That's the same. Shh. That's the same. The sh digraph comes at the end of the word rash. It stayed the same. Here's your next one. The word is rat. Write the word rat. Is there a digraph in the word? Is it at the beginning or is it at the end? What other sounds do you hear? Rat. Write it on your paper. Be ready to think together in three, two, one. Rat. R, that's the same. A, that's the same not the same. I don't need that digraph sh anymore. I need a t, t for the end of the word. Is there a digraph in this word? No, no sh in this word. Rat. Okay, here's our next one. Make the word sat. Is there a digraph in the word? What sounds do you hear? Sat. Be ready in three, two, one. Sat. Let's see. S I need to change that sound. But what do I change it to? S. S. Snake. S. I need an S. S. A. Sa. That's the same. That's the same. Sat. Is there a digraph in this word now? No, no digraph. Just an S. S makes the S sound. SH digraph makes the SH sound. Okay. Let's do one more. Now I want you to change the word to SASH. SASH. What do you need to change about this word? Go ahead and do it on your paper. Sash. Is there a digraph? Where is the digraph? Are the other sounds the same or different? Be ready to share your thinking in three, two, one. The word is sash. S same. A, same. Shh. Ooh. The last sound is not a t. S, a, sh. I hear the digraph. Sh, sh, ship, sh. This word has a digraph at the end. Sash. Okay. Next, I'm going to write some words on my board. And I'm going to tell you the word that I'm trying to write, but I'm not going to have every sound written on my board. Your job is to write the words on your paper, but I want you include, to include all of the sounds. All right? So we'll do a first one together, and then you can keep going. I want to write the word shin. I'm going to give you that it starts with an S. But I'm not going to give you the next letter that comes. I, n. What do I need here to make the word shin? What letter fills that space? Remembering that we have a sound here at the beginning. Sh. 
What two letters make the sound shh? One of them is missing. You tell me. It's letter H. S H. Digraph. I N Shin. Got it. Okay. I'm going to say the word. You're going to write the word with all of its parts. Ready? The word is hush. I'm missing one letter. The word is hush. Be ready in three, two, one. Huh. Uh, shh. What other letter do I need with the S? Shh. Makes SH ship shh. I need that H to go with the SH. Okay. Let's do another one. This time let's write the word cash. I'm missing a sound here. Which letter makes the sound in the word cash that I don't have there? Cash. Write it on your paper and be ready in three, two, one. Cash. K. A. 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 Apple. A. Did you write A on your paper? Do you have the word cash now with the digraph SH at the end? Cash. Good. Let's do another one. This time, let's write the word shed. Shed. What letter is missing to spell the word shed? Where's the digraph? Shed. Shed. Be ready in three, two, one. I was thinking about this word, and at the beginning of the word, I hear the sound sh, shed. So I need an H here with the S to make the digraph sh, ed, shed. All right, now that we've done some practice with the SH digraph, I want you to be searching for it in your reading today. Does it show up in some of your words? Now you know what sound to make when you see the SH together. Keep practicing, you can do it. See you later.